Hi friends, it's me, Mary, and I am doing this video in collaboration with Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. This is my small Thrifty Thursday haul this week. And this week I went to a few antique stores with my mom and my sister around the Saginaw, Michigan area, and I found a few things, so I just wanted to share those with you. Um, of course, I found a couple books, like I always do. These ones are bird books mainly. And this one is the Yellow Book of Birds of America. And this is so pretty inside. This one is sort of like <laughs> on the outside, it's not so pretty because it's very old. I think it's from 19, yep, 44. And this is Gerhardt Mammal Jr.'s book. So he has quite the name, right? <laughs> but he used this book quite a bit. But look at on the inside all these pretty like bird pictures and they're like perfect to use in junk journals like matte pictures i just love them and they say a little bit about each bird so that's very cool and then i got the blue book of birds and again, these are all Gerhardt's books. This one's even in worse shape, but the inside is perfect for a junk journal because it's already coming apart. And it's got all these pretty birds in there. So you'll likely see these in my um, Etsy store. This one is actually Trees of North America. This one's in better shape. This is from 1947. And these are, they feel glossy, but they look matte. So these are also great for junk journals. So pretty. This is the Green Book of Birds. Sort of the same thing. So pretty. And then of course the Red Book of Birds. <laughs> and these are like ducks and geese and stuff like that, herons. Pretty. So those are what I got from one antique store. And then in another one I found these. It was like a whole set of these golden books or what are yeah I think they are golden books a golden nature guide is what they are and so I got mammals seashells seashores insects trees reptiles and amphibians weather and game birds so a few of these I haven't had before I haven't had mammals seashores reptiles amphibians weather or game birds so I've had a few of them before though but I just think these are so cool. They have some water damage to them, but still, I mean, they're they're just great pictures inside. And I love this one. I've had it before though. This is such a cool book. This is probably one of my favorites. all the butterflies in this one and then I also have the hardcover um, copy of this which is really nice it's really hard to find though the hard copy hardcover copy and then this reptiles and amphibians one I haven't seen this one before skip over that one and then weather and then game birds oh that one's pretty and 
And then I also got from one of the antique stores this cute dot to dot um, birthday assortment of birthday cards. Isn't this so cute? I love the box. That's the main reason why I got it actually, because I love the box. But inside, there were supposed to be 14 cards in here, and I think there's only six. But, um, so some of them were used. But look at how cute they are. Hi, happy birthday. Then inside you got the dot to dot. And then this one is happy birthday, many happy returns. Isn't that so pretty? I love that one. Then you got the dot to dot. I got two of these ones, big birthday wishes. And then lots of birthday wishes. So cute. And it comes with the envelopes too. So I love those. And then I got one thing from Etsy. And it was, was these. And they are vintage index cards from the Netherlands. So I thought that these were pretty cool. Thought you could use these for collage or something like that. So I got a bunch of these. They took a while to come in the mail, but I think they're very cute and they were a great price. So, um, so yeah, so that's my small haul for today, friends. I hope that you enjoyed it and um, I hope that everybody is doing well and enjoying the spring weather. And until next time, friends, love you. Bye-bye.